Panzer Knights for the PC Windows operating system. This tanker sim, featuring an anime-style art aesthetic released on May 19th, 2021, in its official retail version. The Steam reviews would have you believe that it's a playable version of the anime Girls Zoom Panzer, which, if you haven't seen it, is a pretty spectacular series from 2012 featuring some very high-quality animated tank brawn. But what is Panzer Knights, and why should you care? Let's dive right in. Panzer Knights is a game about a German Wehrmacht tank division. It starts in 1939, shortly before the invasion of Poland, and ends in 1943 after the Battle of Kursk on the Eastern Front. The story features themes of camaraderie, doing one's duty and what is expected of a soldier, as well as avenging the great shame inflicted by the loss of the First World War at the hands of the Allies. The game's story will see you reliving some of the most thrilling historical tank battles of World War II, the Blitzkrieg invasions of Poland and France, the encirclement of the British Army at Dunkirk, the invasion of the Soviet Union, and other less successful German army operations, such as Operation Winter Storm, the ill-fated attempt to open a gap for the Sixth Army to retreat from Stalingrad. While the game ends abruptly in 1943, I would have easily played a story that went on the entire length of the war, one featuring our dutiful panzer wife who's fighting to the bitter, unconditional surrender for their fatherland. Gameplay is where Panzer Knights really shines. The terrain and level design look great, from the hedgerows and rolling hills of France to the expansive snowy plains of the Soviet Union. It looks and feels like the colorized pictures of a history book brought to life. The tanks themselves are highly detailed and faithful representations of their historical counterparts. The game roster features 22 playable tanks, with the majority of featured tanks being German. <laughs> and with the game being named Panzer Knights, can you really be surprised that the Germans are the faction with the most features? On the battlefield, players will control their command tank. The player is allowed to maneuver freely while adhering to the objectives of the mission allowing the player the freedom of completing both main and optional objectives during missions. Combat can be carried out in a third-person camera view, as well as first-person scoped turret view for precision aiming. Players can use armor penetrating, heavy armor penetrating, and high explosive rounds when firing the cannon of their tank. The player can also launch smoke to create visual obstructions for the enemy, call in artillery strikes for support, and radio in for a supply drop to get resupplied in the middle of a mission. There are formations available to your Panzer unit, though they essentially equate to move in a line, fan out, and halt. The game also features a repair function in which you hold the R key for about 8 seconds and your tank is fully repaired so long as you have a repair token to spend. Not the most realistic game mechanic, but in some of these later missions you'll be outnumbered 5 to 1 or worse, making it necessary to give the player some sort of leeway over the AI force of numbers. Speaking of holding the R key, this game could really benefit from some controller support. I tried busting out x Patter so I could use a gamepad, but it just resulted in poor performance for the game engine, so I scrapped the idea of controller emulation altogether and persevered on mouse and keyboard. The game's action is not very indicative of actual historical tank combat, particularly on the Eastern Front. The majority of the action in this game will occur at 200 meters or less during firefights. The Panzer IV, with its long barrel, 75 centimeter cannon, was capable of destroying most allied tanks with a frontal shot from about 1500 meters. See the discrepancy? Instead of long range spotting, range finding, and sniping battles, the fights in Panzer Knights are more like brawls, opponents maneuvering to find the best arc and armor facing to deliver the decisive killing blow. As such, the game plays in a very arcade fashion, with shot direction, angle, distance, and armor thickness all seemingly taken into account when shots are calculated. Tracks and turrets can be destroyed by targeting the proper areas of an enemy vehicle. Fuel tanks and engines are also subsystems on each tank that could, in theory, be targeted. The general rule of thumb in tank warfare being, aim for the flat surface, avoid shooting into the sloped armor. That's the most common way to get a bounce result, or a no damage shot for you non-tankers out there. Other criticisms I have of the gameplay include the lack of anything but tanks and a handful of other vehicles in the game. The end result is a tanks-only game that even manages to make fun of itself, knowing that tanks shouldn't be operating without infantry support. The lack of any human models in the game makes the towns and battlefields feel empty, and in some cases awkward. Within several levels, the choice has been made to include field guns in the artillery emplacements. However, there are no human models in the game to interact with them. They seem to function as 
as really poorly placed auto turrets and are almost comically bad at their intended battlefield role, when in truth at the time, anti-tank guns and recoilless rifles were a huge boon for an infantry unit going up against armor in World War II. Modern games about this conflict tend to feature large combined arms assault operations. Panzer Knights does not. Just the inclusion of infantry models in this game could go a long way to increasing the enjoyment and overall presentation of this title as a World War II game. As it is, Panzer Knight's gameplay feels like tanks in a sporting arena, which only lends to its reputation as Girls und Panzer the game. The campaign in Panzer Knights features 12 main missions and two optional side missions. Additional tanks can be purchased in the garage menu, and additional crew can be purchased from the camp menu. Each crew member has a different bonus which is added to your tank's stats, such as increased turret rotation, loading speed, or faster repair. There's some friendship conversations to unlock by using certain crews in certain missions, but this really doesn't lend to the replayability of the game, and once you've farmed the missions, bought all the tanks, decided who the best waifu was, and fought the best girl war, you've really run out of content. There are no plans for multiplayer support, and it remains to be seen if major improvements will be coming in future updates from developer Joybrick. Panzer Knights is a game built with concepts that have the potential to be great, but fall slightly short of being realized fully. So to sum up my thoughts, Panzer Knights is a fun game. It is indeed a love letter to anime like Girls Who Panzer and video games like Valkyria Chronicles. Its strengths are that it features fun and relatively fast-paced armored tank brawls in a beautifully detailed anime aesthetic. It has fun and endearing characters, but they don't get enough time to really shine the way that you might want them to like the cast of Valkyria Chronicles did. Its shortcomings can be summed up in not enough attention to detail of World War II battlefield simulation, to please the war gamers, and not enough cute anime girl tanking fun to make the many weebs who undeniably bought this game happy either. In final, Panzer Knight Waifus is a game that has all the building blocks to be better, and maybe Joybrick will do something about that in the future. Thanks for listening guys, this is Hagen, the aging unsure weeb, and this is my new channel on YouTube. I need all the support I can get breaking into the search algorithm, so if you're coming and watching my videos, please just take the time to subscribe to the channel, and maybe click like every time you watch a new video, maybe even leave a comment? I'll respond. I'm a friendly feller, I promise. All these things really help me out as a creator to get noticed on the platform, so thanks a lot guys. I don't have a planned release schedule, but I am already working on my next project. I hope to see you all back here soon. Click the bell for notifications if you want to know when that next project lands. Cheers. Stay frosty, my weebies.